Brief heads an Eco Schools Bahamas program where local students take action to improve the use of resources within their school environment in three key areas of energy, waste, and water. Brief is the Bahamas Reef Environment Educational Foundation and we run a program in the Bahamas called Eco Schools Bahamas, which is an opportunity for schools around the Bahamas and also around the world. It is an international program. It's an opportunity for them to evaluate their environmental impact and take steps to reduce their footprint on the environment. This year, Brief's Eco Schools program held a competition where students from across the Bahamas produce public service announcements to inform the Bahamian public about our native plants and problems that invasive foreign plants pose locally. A lot of times when we see the bush, we kind of ignore it and don't think of it as important, but it actually does play a significant role in our biodiversity as a country, as well as our culture and economy. The award ceremony for the student PSAs was held at Bahamas National Trust and the competition was sponsored by an organization called Global Environment Facility under their small grants program. The event today came together very good. We were very happy with the participation of all the schools. Um, as you know that we had schools not only from the Providence but from the Family Islands. Um, they are all on the Eco School program and we are happy to support them and be a part of increasing the awareness and education, especially at the school level, so that the future generations could be protected and will know about these type of issues. This year's Radio PSA competition winners were C.R. Walker Senior High School's Blair Thompson, who took first place. Well, I don't like to brag, but I came first place in the Eco School PSA competition, and I won a GoPro camera. St. Andrew's Jesse Hall in second place. My teacher actually decided to take me to the competition. She introduced it to us as a project, and originally we all just entered in for a grade at school and she happened to actually like my presentation in fact it was one of her favorites which is actually very rare. Shante Bain and Padetra Neely of San Salvador High School in third place. We entered the competition one day I was in class Mr. Taylor told us that he'll give us the rest of the period off if someone enters the, com enters the competition and Stevana Ray and Kiaja Wims of T.G. Glover Primary School in fourth place. I asked Cecilia if we could, if me and her, Kiaja, could do it together, and she said yes. And we was practicing together until we get it, the whole thing in our head. There's no doubt that these awards were well deserved, as all in attendance, excluding myself, were quite well versed in their Bahamian flora. Native to me is like plants that was originally from here. We could say there are plants that were here with us back in the Lucayan time. Our Caribbean pine, our gamelami, your thatch palm, our mahogany, our hall box, pigeon plum, cocoa plum, sea oats, lignum vitae, or vitae. You do it. Is the mic on? But it didn't stop there. Invasive is plants what other people brought here to the Bahamas. But not just imported, but they are plants that would cause some harm to our ecology by outcompeting native plants for space, water, light, and also maybe causing harm to the um, human health or to our economy. Plants like the Brazilian pepper, the white inkberry or scavola, the Hawaiian sea grape, the Vidalia or carpet daisy, and the casuarinas. Everybody should know the casuarinas. If you see an alien in your garden, remain calm, get, a, get the clippers, and remove the menace. Since most of our native plants and animals are ill-equipped to defend against aggressive invading species, it is our responsibility as Bahamians to first educate ourselves. Well, as we know, the Bahamas is already a multicultural or diverse society, and this is good, touristically speaking, but I don't think we want to lose ourselves in the process. So, when it comes to our environment, we need to keep ourselves whole and we need to keep ourselves Bahamian to protect who we are. We need to protect our culture.
Preservation of native plant biodiversity must be included in our plans for sustainable development, and our youth have a necessary sense of fervor that we could all do with. I feel like I did something, like I did something better for the community, and I, I'm actually making people aware of what's going on in the Bahamas. So it, yeah, it feels really nice, and I will definitely do it again. There are plentiful opportunities at Brief for students to participate in programs and competitions where they are able to become better stewards of the natural resources that sustain our country's future. The best way to hear about up and coming events is to join Brief, to become a member of Brief. You can email us at brief at brief.org and get information on upcoming programs and projects and how to get your school or community involved with some of these projects. In addition to the PSA Competition Awards, Worthy schools were also bestowed with their Eco Schools green flags for good environmental practice, taking it upon themselves to promote environmental sustainability within their school and in the wider community. The winning PSAs will be aired on ZNS Radio in July as we celebrate 40 years of independence. To get additional information, email brief at brief.org or call 327-9000. For Bahamas at Sunrise, this is Anastasia Phalanges reporting.